When you wish upon a star Makes no difference who you are Everything your heart desires Will come to you if your heart is in your dreams no request is too extreme when you wish upon a star as dreamers do take you back. It was about 1997 or 1998-ish, I would say. Um, my father, you know, hardworking man all of his life, he uh, somehow managed to uh, take his family of his of his wife, a stay-at-home wife, mind you, and his three kids, uh, piled them all on, onto the plane, flew us out to Florida, and was able to uh, give us one day uh at this magical place um i would say um right as i walked down main street usa and saw the structure my life was changed forever forever there's no absolutely no doubt about it this place this building uh it has impacted my it impacted my childhood all the way through my adult life um I first visited Disney World when I was uh, uh, nine, and uh, uh, I've been fascinated by the entire uh, at the, just the atmosphere, the structures, the just everything about it. Ever since uh, I, I was little, you know, sometimes you have those things that you know you love when you're a kid, but you eventually grow out of. Not this. Uh, I feel like I love it even more now as an uh, as an adult than when I did when I was a kid. All right, what's up, guys? Marjack seventy nine here, and this is easily one of the pinnacles of my entire collection. This is the Oswalski Cinderella Castle model. All right, let's jump right in, shall we? So, as you can already see. This is a spitting image of the structure that is in the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. In Lake Buena Vista, Florida, um, the park itself opened in 1971. Um, I, uh, like I said in the beginning, I first uh, visited this, this park in 1997. So, um, I've had this model for about 10 years, I would say. Um, it was actually a uh, anniversary gift for my wife. Back then, she was my then girlfriend. Um, and uh, after we moved in together and got, and got married, you know, it became uh, definitely the uh, centerpiece of my, uh, of my museum, I would say. You know, I've collected a lot of stuff over the, over the years. But I would definitely say that this is probably still my favorite. As you can see here, this, just the intricate details, just every single painted brick here, guys. Perfect. It's absolutely perfect. From the shrubbery, the trees, and the and the bushes, the entrance flag flags here, to the uh, middle symbol here, and Cinderella Castle. Don't worry, I'm gonna I'm gonna spin this around so you guys can get a look at it from the side too. As you can see, the uh, the top the top spire here, spawn on guys. Now, look at that detail, man. That is amazing. The details to the castle here, absolutely beautiful. 
I cannot give uh, en enough praise to this castle. Now I will go ahead and get it out of the way. Um, this uh, this this castle has been through a couple of moves, and I have lost a, a flower or two. I am looking to replace it as as long as I find exactly exactly the right flag that goes on top. But I did lose that 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 tip there, and that tip there throughout my uh, move from my apartment to my house. I mean, even if I zoom in here, just the details, man. Amazing. I mean, you can even see the clock here in the middle. You can get a look at, I know it's dark, but you can still see the inside of the castle walls here. Now you don't get the uh, the mosaic of uh, of Cinder of Cinderella for those who have been to a Walt Disney World. You know that the inside of the castle walls here it's a it's a mosaic of uh, Cinderella trying on her glass uh, slipper. You don't get that here, but that's um but that's okay. Just the fact that they included this at all is just absolutely stunning. You know. No, I mean when you zoom in here, and get in a little bit closer, you, you definitely start to notice a few paint blotches there, like right there on the uh, flag at the uh, left-hand corner. I mean that's that's no, but that's no big deal, oh man. Got the trees with the uh, moat here. Looks great, man. All right, so why don't we go ahead and spend it to the side here and get a look at it from the side. So as you can see from the side here got that perfect side view the only thing that's missing is the uh, mode here <laughs> to uh, get your uh, reflection picture of a Cinderella castle and if you've been to Disney Road in the, in, in the Magic Kingdom you know exactly what I'm talking about and get your uh, reflection of the uh, castle right in here to get that perfect picture but yeah so uh, getting into more de detail you can see the stone structures here all the way. I mean, you can already see. Look at the back uh, door here. Oh man, look at that, man. Just look at the look at the detail, man. That's crazy. That is insane. How much detail they been into this. I really want everybody here to appreciate the mastery of the uh, architectural sculpture that took place and crafting this this piece all right so let's go ahead and flip her to the back here so as you can see I mean if you've ever been in the uh, Magic Kingdom court courtyard or towards the back towards fan of fantasy land you definitely have gotten this view a bajillion times now looking at it in miniature form there's no there's no there's no faults guys you know I mean if you get into a little bit into extended detail here you can see yeah, it's a little bit of chipping there on the uh, ground but keep in mind i've had this 10 years plus guys 10 years plus so i mean I'm sure it's just a little bit of normal wear and tear here and here and there but this is still easily the uh, greatest looking uh, treasure in my collection look at that man look at that goodness gracious beautiful absolutely beautiful got the door tree got the post here you can, you can see the uh, inside you even got a little window there looks, looks like a poster maybe it's like even a little a little uh, excuse me, got a little door inside of here and then just look at my finger to the to the size of it <laughs> you got another door here look at that detail there I mean, can you imagine I me? Mean, what size of a pointer could he have had to uh, sculpt those little dots right, right there? I mean, here's that, and then there's my then there's my finger there. <laughs> so, dude, that's crazy. And that right there to the back. Nice. All right, so let's go ahead and flip her back around and let's talk a little bit. All right, so why don't we uh, go ahead and explore the other features of the uh, castle. Now, if you uh, head deep into the uh, castle forest area here, 
you can go in and reach in and grab this tree here and it will reveal a button and if you hit this button uh here i will i will I'll save it as a, as a as a surprise but give me just just a second and we're back so it's a little dark huh well let's uh let's rectify that situation now and there we go so as you can see uh this castle has the ability to light up as well look at that man look at that so this is what the castle looks like when it is illuminated at nighttime so it flashes from the green to the blue to the to the purple and you can see the uh clock uh, tower illuminates here as well and also you can see some illumination in the inside of the uh, of the castle here within the front walls too wonderful beautiful man beautiful the only thing is missing is some is some fireworks it's the only thing missing <laughs> As you can see, um, get a little bit closer, uh, the little globe for the light is hitting right there, and the other one is right there. So, and also, let's get a look at it, illuminate it from the back. So, as, as you can see, um, it does illuminate from the back as well. You can see the uh, door illuminating here, and the... Uh, uh, Cinderella's royal table. Um, if you know, if you know what that is, I love you. <laughs> but uh, and you can see the illumination of the um, inside of the building here too. So looks great, man. Looks great. Looks like it's got like some some stained glass, plexi plexiglass uh, windows here. Looks great, just like how a Cinderella cat or Cinderella's royal table looks absolutely stunning guys like i said this this purchase man it was worth every penny all right so let's go ahead and switch the lights back on and turn it around and finish out shall we also guys uh here is a look at the castle from the uh, bottom uh it's made by the art of disney walt disney world um uh, handmade in china uh cinderella castle the uh, old walkie model uh 2005 aed um this device complies with blah blah blah. You can freeze that and read it if you want to. Uh, this uh, model does take AA batteries. That's how you get it to light up. Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty easy. You know, you just flip flip that tab on the left hand corner, cool corner there, and it pops right out. You can put in your battery so your castle can light up. Awesome. And then of course you have your little stands here to to keep it from sliding around and everything. So that is helpful. Uh, also. Uh, do not drop this. <laughs> Wait, that goes without saying. Uh, it's a it's it's a heavy piece, but it's definitely not indestructible, people. Okay, now for those who don't know, I uh, actually proposed to my wife uh, right in front of this structure as well. I would say we were standing right on top of this emblem here. So. As you can see, I mean, I think it should not be a surprise that this uh, building means the world to me. So, alright man, I guess uh, we can go on ahead and enter the uh, depressing part of the uh, video when we uh, when we talk about price. Now, like I said, I got this, this sculpture years upon y years ago. I got it from the Disney store for $250. Now, I checked on eBay and right now it's going for um four hundred and eighty five dollars there and on amazon it's going for a whopping six hundred and ninety seven dollars so that's not that's not cheap guys but you know i mean disney road has been a central part of my life for at least the last 20 years so you know i mean if you if you have the money and uh, Disney World is your passion, then this piece is absolutely a no-brainer. I mean, if you like what you saw, go ahead and do me a favor and hit that hit that like button, guys. I would really appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos just just like this, uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, there are other Disney Park videos on the channel. I will link them in the description. Uh, you can follow me at youtubecom smartjack 79 and facebookcom smartjack 79 and, and until then, hope to catch you guys on the next one.
I'll see you later, guys.